it seems like prices are not bouncing back as quickly as I have previously thought. And today we are going to go over why that is and basically what the heck is happening in the market. I couldn't drop a video yesterday because I honestly did not know what was happening. The market was changing every hour and it seemed like we were seeing inflation and then next hour it was deflation. So I didn't know what was happening. But we are back and we're going to talk about it. And I will let you guys know what you guys should be investing in leading up to this update coming in three days and 15 hours. Remember, if you like this type of content and I give you some helpful information in this video, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel and like the video. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. And when I do that, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway on my Discord. So link to join that Discord will be down in the description below. It's just so much easier doing the giveaways on there. So that's why I do that instead of the YouTube comment section like I did previously. Let's get right into it though because you guys need to know what the heck is happening right now. All right, you guys. So to go over these prices, we are on ps99rap.com. Sorry for not telling you guys what the website was in my last video. I completely forgot that the URL is hidden. So I thought you guys just knew what it was. But this is the website that I use to pretty much track all of my prices now. Uh, as you guys know, I used to actually write down the prices of huges and other commonly traded items on a spreadsheet. But now that we have this new Pet Simulator API that can track this information, we can get more accurate and more consistent results to see like how prices have been changing. So I use this site all the time to look at the trends and see stuff like how fast inflation happens right after these big deflation periods like right here. But anyways, the current price of the Huge Happy computer is 44.3 million right now. And that means that the price has actually dropped by 141K. So typically this is when we would see a deflation period as people begin panic selling. But honestly, I'm not sure if that's what's going to happen right now. As you guys could see in the past like two days, probably maybe three days, the prices have been incredibly stable for these huges. And I'm honestly not too sure what's causing this. In my last video, I said that I think this deflation would be super short and that we would see the peak prices bounce back within one to two days. And it is now two days and the prices have not bounced back quite yet. Now, we did talk about in that video how the Huge Hunter Game Pass was buffed. So people are opening a ton of huges right now, which means they probably aren't going ahead and buying as much. So this could be a reason why prices have been incredibly stable for all of these cheap huges. And actually a super useful thing you can use this site for is to see how many of those huges are being opened every day. So if you come back to the homepage and scroll all the way down, you could see this, which basically says the biggest huge exists increase raw, which is basically just the number of increased huges that are being opened every day. So you could see stuff like the huge wizard Westie, which was opened 652 times in the past 24 hours, which is actually pretty crazy. And then basically you can see these top three increases to the huge existence rate are those active huges currently. So we have the huge elephant, the huge shadow dominus, as well as the huge giraffe, which all have basically opened up 1300 of these things in the past 24 hours. That is basically 4,000 new huges that are being opened every day. And that's due to that new buff that we saw to the Huge Hunter Game Pass. So a lot of people are opening huges now because that is a better way for them to get them uh, compared to grinding. And it is super important to note that people can grind while opening eggs too. So with the Super Magnet Enchant, it makes it a lot easier to do that because you don't have to place down magnet flags every few hours. So basically overnight, you can farm while opening eggs so people are opening a ton of huges right now and we could check out the prices of these as you can see prices have dropped a little bit nothing too crazy though but i would imagine this is due to the ever more increasing uh existence of these huges so if we go back a little farther we could see that this line has increased dramatically uh, since that buff to the huge hunter game pass all right so from this chart you could see that we were steadily increasing these giraffes being opened while they were in rotation uh, at a constant little rate 
But now since the huge hunter came pass, we've been opening up a whole lot more. And you can see that by the increased uh, gradient of the graph, which is just fancy terms for saying that a lot more of these are being opened every day due to that buff that we did see. We could check out the happy rock as well. Uh, it follows pretty similar charting to the huge happy computer. As you guys can see here, it has also dropped uh, 170k in this last wrap update. But it's kind of hard to tell if this is really going to be a deflation period or if prices are just honestly stable right now. I think that it's entirely possible that prices just begin to stabilize for a little bit as people begin to start opening huges instead of just buying them from the market like they were previously. So if people feel like it's better for them to just open eggs, they're probably not grinding as many diamonds as they were before. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I honestly don't really know why inflation hasn't taken off once again. Personally, I don't believe that this is an actual deflation period that is happening. Uh, I think we are just seeing stable prices overall. Um, so I'd imagine the price would still stay around this 44 million diamond mark. Now, the reason why I don't know what's going on is usually when we don't get any sort of leaks or updates from big games and we see prices begin to increase or begin to decrease, people begin panic selling and panic buying. And that's really just not happening anymore. So I don't really know what is happening since my last video. We have gotten no new leaks no new updates i haven't seen anything personally that is a new addition to the game so most likely that is the reason why prices have been stable is because people just don't really know what's going on and people don't want to panic sell or panic buy before the update now one thing i should mention is that it is pretty likely that we see a mini deflation period uh sometime before the update which is typically like about two to three days or sometimes even one day before the update, people begin to sell off a ton of stuff like their cheap huges just so they can get some diamonds ready for the update. And, and if there is some content that needs diamonds, they can be ready for it. So that is typically why we see a little deflation period that usually bounces back before the update. But something to look out for. But at the moment, prices have just been stable. But in the meantime, let's talk about some other items that have been having some major movement before this update. One thing we have seen and that I recommended to you guys probably almost two weeks ago at this point. Maybe a, maybe it was just a week ago, but I recommended this at probably this level right here that you should begin investing in these charm stones because we are planning to see some use for these charm stones coming in the new update. So if you guys didn't know, I'll have this tweet on the screen here, but the developer David did say that there are going to be some uses for those other charms that nobody is using because they know that people have hundreds of these cheap charms that basically nobody's going to use like the coin charm, the bonus charm, uh, agility charm, stuff like that. There are just so many of those in existence. So they are planning on putting in some sort of essence machine or something in the game that we are going to be able to use those for. So a lot of people have been speculating on these and basically buying up a ton of these. So the price is almost 29000 and I invested in about 10000 of these things at 24 k So I've made quite a profit and I've been flipping them as they've been going up. So I hope you guys were able to make those trades for yourself. But just something to look out for. I'm not sure how much higher these would go. So I don't know if this is a good investment opportunity at the moment. Because of course people are just speculating on these charm stones. And we don't even know what the use is going to be for these. Possibly it could be used for the XP potion machine that says you can craft it with items. So that's a possibility of what these charms would be used for. And if that is the case then these probably would go up more. But, but obviously, I don't know what's going to happen, and you guys don't know what's going to happen. So this is just a risky bet for now. Another thing that has seen major movement in the past few days are these huge potions. So as you guys can see, 325,000 diamonds for a huge potion. And obviously, this is due to that buff to the huge hunter game pass. So a lot more people are opening eggs now. So a lot more people want these potions, which is basically driven up the demand for them. 
but the supply is probably still pretty low as the only way to make these is by people fishing and by people going in the dig site and getting those pools of magic. So you could either make these with magic shards or the buckets of magic, but pretty much there's not that many people that actually do that in the game. So that's why the prices of these are going up because it is getting harder and harder to find these. And sometimes you can sell these things for up to 500,000 diamonds. The magic shards themselves are 8.7k right now, but it is pretty much impossible to find these. If you can find these for this price though, so we'll say 9,000, it costs 16 of these to make a huge potion, which is basically 144k. So you can make one of these huge potions for 144k and sell it for basically double the price right now. But of course, it is going to be super hard to find these. Just something I thought I would mention. And I'd imagine a lot more people are going to be digging and fishing just because you can sell those huge potions for a good profit at the moment. All right, you guys. So another thing I did want to clarify, I'm sorry I was in that website for a while. Uh, I probably should just be in the trading plaza more. But the boss chest mimic, I think, is still a decent investment currently in the economy. The only reason I was letting you guys know in the last video uh, to be cautious with buying this is that because it is still in the exclusive shop and it's been in the exclusive shop for so long, there can honestly be a huge supply of these. So basically, if a YouTuber or somebody that has a ton of Robux just wanted to basically like stock up on a bunch of stuff that's worth a lot of dollars diamonds they could have just been going ahead and buying a ton of these and basically somebody could just be holding on to a ton which basically brings up the supply of them and therefore basically lowers how much the price could go up in the future but the fact is that it is still the second best enchantment in the game so people are gonna want it nonetheless i still think it is a decent investment opportunity because people are going to probably panic buy them when they see that they are out of the exclusive shop on saturday and then additionally i've seen a lot of people asking me about the boss lucky block as well as the super magnet enchant and asking if they should be investing in those at the time of recording this video we have not gotten any new leaks about new enchantment books that we are going to be seeing added to the game so at the moment there's no real reason to believe that we are going to be seeing a whole new set of exclusive enchants so that's why personally i wouldn't be investing in the super magnet or the boss lucky block just yet because it could still be in the exclusive shop for another month basically now we actually did hit a billion diamonds wrap value on these chest mimics the other day but now we are seeing the prices go back down a little bit so we are currently at 970 million diamonds for the chest mimic and of course it's only going to get worse over time as there are less and less in circulation and less people are putting them on the market because most of the super rich people are using them for their setups and they probably will never remove them from their setups unless there is a huge nerf to them, which I doubt big games would ever do. But for that reason, there are just such a low supply of them on the market that the overall quantity of them is super low, driving up the price. On top of that, it is still just the best enchant in the game. So of course, the price is just absolutely ridiculous sitting at almost a billion diamonds now we probably will expect to see the superhero eggs leave the exclusive shop on saturday because big games does make a lot of diamonds from introducing new eggs so usually every update we are seeing a new exclusive egg be put in so it might be a good idea to invest in these but obviously that is still a gamble uh because we have not seen any leaks about a new egg being introduced quite yet so we could see this egg stay in the exclusive shop on Saturday. The prices of all of the other eggs have been going up pretty steadily. So we are seeing the jelly egg, the fruit egg, um, the emoji egg, all sitting almost 30 million uh, with the Valentine's egg being 31 million. So a lot of these eggs have gone up quite a bit in value. They have been some good investments over time. And one last thing that I should mention is that I still think these large gift bags are very profitable at the moment with how expensive you can sell the fruits for. You can make a good amount. I was getting around 12,700 diamonds on average from opening these and I tested this 
with over 25,000 of these large gift bags. So that should be a pretty consistent result for you guys. Uh, if you want, opening these is good, but you will have to go ahead and sell all of the extra stuff as you only get around 9,000 diamonds on average, it seems, from opening the bags itself. Overall, though, that's pretty much it for this video. There was quite a bit to talk about, and hopefully we get some new leaks in the next couple days about this new update. And I also will be having a video on what to buy before update 8 coming out either tomorrow or the day after. So look out for that. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We are doing some big giveaways on the Discord. Link will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.